I got some mini bagels. I don't need no cream cheese. Burnt bread is my topping. <laughs> hey, does your office have a toaster oven? That's the real flex. Everybody wants to talk about how much money they have. Do you have an air fryer toaster oven combo? That's the real flex. I got a big old house. Toast bagels start. Um, let me read it before I do what I normally do, which is just start typing yeah. without, I usually, yeah, you're agreeing, yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. Hey, yo, your bagel's ready. So good. Formatting cards, you know. No, it's blank. The eight tunes? Mm -hmm. Have you turned it on? Yeah. How's it blank? Because there's no XML for it to draw from. Also, anytime you turn on the ATEM, it's blank. You gotta restore. I don't have a startup state. So macros are basically programs or algorithms that you program like in Atom or you record them live and you can tell the macro do anything. So fade this audio down, uh, play this, this media, and then wait 10 minutes, and then fade this media out, fade the audio back in, cut to that camera, all with one button so you're not having to do it live. Also, you can build macros to throw up lower thirds, to throw up key, different keys. So that's what I lost. I lost all my macros. The bread and butter of my job. It's okay. We'll redo them. Just want to give you a story. Okay. A buddy of mine that I've known since elementary school moved here from Thailand when he was like four or five, whatever, you know. So we were in first grade or so when he moved into town. Ah! Are you about to bring me a client? Yes. Donovan and I are about to do, we are podcast. We should start a podcast where we talk about everything, anything, but mainly TV, movie, and pop culture. Pop culture. These are drugs that I'm doing prior to the podcast. <laughs> Just to set the tone, uh, they were prescriptions. So. But they're in plastic, so it's legal. It's fine. Anyway, Ryan should yeah. do edibles, yeah, and then we should I talk said. about it. Yes. What happens when I there's zero change? Just start telling us crazy stories about cheerleading and the war. Cheerleading and the war. Because well, you're a Marine and all that. You you're know? a Marine cheerleader. Right? Mr. Beast? No, but can I take one for my kid because he'll freak out? Yes. Okay. There you go. Okay. Ready, ready? Yeah, I can make him laugh. Before. Ready, okay. ready. Okay, cool. I have a call I have to get on, yeah. so you're going to have to jump us out. But yeah, they, they're all different. Places. I have a meeting I'm supposed to... Yeah, I okay, have to get off. Yeah, I just realized it's 1 o'clock. Yeah. All is 1,500 attendees, but I think we if we get some big names speaking, we'll have a... Like, if we get Barack Obama to speak at this thing, we'll have a 5,000-plus attendee event just because of that. Anyway, so anyway. whose meeting is is this? Is it, is it Margo's meeting or Naomi's meeting? meeting? I'm just helping. Naomi's. Okay. Pitch in if need be. If you see anything, you hear me. Pitch in. Basically, well, things are going great in my life. That's what they did. I think we should switch over so that it looks a little more cohesive and that kind yeah. of looks... Are you talking about for YouTube? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then streamlining the... Pr I, uh, Hopefully it gets this way, but getting to where the thing gets posted, the video gets posted on consist consistent day mm -hmm. every mm -hmm. week, right. Friday or Monday, if they can't do Friday. If it was a big issue, yeah, because it's fine. It's on him. If yeah. you hear you chime in, I think he did it twice. Yeah. Once, it, if it's like every sentence, like being an active listener in real life, that's annoying. Right. Yeah. The one or two is going to come out, so I think you did right. all right, but it's a good thing. When it comes to beginning better on content is not fixating on all the notes and just finding like one note that you can fix to the next time. Mm -hmm. Because if you can fix one thing every time you're on camera, the cumulative effect of that is, is amazing. But if you're like trying to do 10 things, you may this time do 10 things, but I guarantee the next time eight of those are gonna go back to the way it was before. Usually after a studio shoot, I try to debrief the client or the talent that was on camera and give them one or two areas of improvement or some compliments, just see how things went, get a temperature check. Don't always have time to do that, but especially when we have new talent on camera, uh, it's super important.